Sailors and ships lost in battle at sea are not often welcomed home again, let alone with the fanfare. But 468 years later, that's exactly what's happened. It was in the waters off Portsmouth, England in the year 1545 that the Mary Rose was sunk while fighting off a French invasion fleet, taking more than 400 men with her. Now though, a large section of the hull that was raised to the surface 30 years ago has become the centerpiece of a new museum in Portsmouth's historic dockyard. The hull sits in an enclosed hall, being dried with air pumped in through large tubes while a figure of Henry VIII looks on at his pride and joy. He likes things big. He likes big bangs, big guns, and he's got big bucks. Historian David Starkey says the Mary Rose was the famously fickle Henry's favorite ship for 34 years before being lost. He seems to have liked the ship perhaps more than some of his wives. It's, it's... He kept it much longer. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> There's only one Mary Rose, there were six wives, and no marriage lasts 34 years. Raising the Mary Rose has brought up more than just an old ship. It's brought up a time capsule of life 500 years ago. Life that was sealed and preserved in the seabed mud. But life which is now being made visible again. Not just the weapons of war have been recovered. What the men wore, how they groomed themselves, the pets they had on board have all been preserved. Who knew the English of the 1500s invented the Swiss army knife? Or that a preserved skeleton and modern forensic science could reconstruct a crew member who looked a lot like us? It is just a whole world preserved, intact, oddly enough throbbing with life. And in a land built on the glories of its past, history has now been made real and brought marching into the present. Mark Phillips, CBS News, Portsmouth.